What's up y'all, Bricks from Bricks Fitness, and it's my baby girl's birthday. Yay! She turned 11 years old today. Um, I can't believe this is happening so fast. Like 11, like I have 11 year old. This is crazy. Anyway, so we're going to get our nails done. Beep. So get her, her birthday pedicure, manicure. And I'm gonna do the same. Oh, thank you. Oh. Kimmy. Hey. hey girl. Oh, you just made a cake it. for me. No, I didn't show the cake. I came when we get back. Don't it was so good. We love you. Birthday girl. Yeah. Going to the nail shop. I'm getting my nails done. My feet done. I'm so excited. After you, ma'am. Don't you do. She want every other toenail painted a different color. Daddy, don't hate. Cause you're a boy, you can't get your nails painted. I don't want to get my nails painted. Whatever. You think you've grown? No, I don't. I never said that. Good birthday, girl. Ooh. I'm not done yet. That's fancy. It's called French nails. French. Tips. tips, I meant tips. Mm. 35 for your daughter, 20, 30 for your wife, 25 for you. 90. Now it's time for this good old Her. haircut. Look, I look crazy. You look sexy. Great idea, thing. We losing weight? Oh, yeah. I'm losing weight. Everybody's saying the same thing. Oh, your yeah, back look little. Hey, hey, Rick. Keep my hands free, though. Sounds good, huh? Did like you say anyone? For it. For it. Yeah, for it. So, as y'all know, I've been traveling for the last three weeks. And the reason why I came back to Virginia when I did is because my man pool party is tomorrow. I'm gonna post this in the morning, so if you're in the 757, wh where's it gonna be at? Matter of fact, go follow him on Instagram at Dre Day the, com the comedian. I'm gonna put it on the screen right here, and all the information for the pool party that I'm gonna be at tomorrow, and it's gonna be the official jump start to my birthday celebration. So I'm excited about that. So if y'all in Virginia, come through tomorrow. Like I said, follow Dre Day, and all the info will be there. He's back. My man Dre got me right as always. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, man, see you tomorrow, boy. Yes, sir. So after I got my hair cut, I went and dropped the kids off to their stepdad so they could spend the second half of Alyssa's birthday with the other side of her family. Now I'm on my way to the gym. I'm about to get this cardio knocked out of the way. I'm doing a cardio only day today. So I'm probably do like 30 or 40 minutes of just cardio. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, the stair machine is available. Please be available, please be available, please be available, please be available, please be available. Yes. Just jumped off? No, no, you good, you good. All right, thanks. I just finished 30 minutes on these stairs. The whole entire time, I was looking at videos that build me up. I actually got some good ideas for a video that I'm going to do tomorrow. But take your mind off the cardio. And if you do think about the cardio, just think about every step, how it's improving your life, how it's extending your life, how it's de-stressing you, how it's Improving your self-esteem. Pain is the path. You gotta be uncomfortable. So I just committed a cardinal sin in my life. I have no oatmeal in the crib. I just finished my cardio session and I jumped right back in my car. And I haven't even driven this car. I don't even know how long. Cause Kami is up there working out still. So she has the keys to the other car. 
So I am going to give me some oatmeal because there's no oatmeal in the crib and that is not okay. Random thought that I want to share with you guys. People that go through their life journey and then become successful, they they, they get so, they're so attached to their past and, and, and all the hardships they had to go through in order to get to where they are. And it's like they don't appreciate those hardships until they're past them. While me, I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm grinding, I have a great life, but I'm not anywhere close to where I wanna be financially and otherwise, right? So I'm driving my 1996 Honda Civic and I'm appreciating this so much because it's only a matter of time before I'm driving some stupid exotic sports car. And then I'm gonna be so like, when I'm talking to young kids, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be telling them about the times when I used to drive a 96 Honda Civic. You know, yeah, I didn't always drive a Lamborghini. I used to drive a Honda Civic. And instead of appreciating it then, I'm appreciating it now because I know these times, these days are numbered. The, the days I'm gonna be driving this car are numbered. And uh, I just wanted to randomly share that thought with you guys. Like appreciate your, your process, appreciate where you are right now. And be so sure that you're gonna achieve the things that you're pursuing that you can, it, it gives you a different type of appreciation for where you are currently. Because you understand that these are gonna be the times that, like I said, you're gonna be so enthusiastic about sharing your struggles with people. Enjoy your struggles while you have them. Because if you grind like I grind, they're short-lived. They're gonna be gone before you know it. Or they're just gonna transform into other struggles. But I'd rather have some bigger problems than than these uh, credit card bills. Because I know exactly. she's gonna be beautiful and athletic. So All right, so we're on our way. We're walking to the mall right now because Kimmy has to get a bathing suit top for this bashment tomorrow. We'd be kicking off my birthday celebration at this pool party my man Dre is having. That's, I, I think I've already mentioned it. Birthday freeze frame. Yeah. Let me give you the disclaimer right now, right? I am not advocating diet soda. Oh. They are bad for you. Soda at all. Soda is period. Diet soda, good. regular soda, is all bad for you. But here's the thing. When I've been having serious cravings, and I want to eat something bad, or I want to eat something sweet, I grab a diet soda. Now, would That's you agree a that a diet... Yeah, a Coke Zero. Would you agree that drinking a diet soda is better than eating a, cu a cupcake? Yes. All right, well. Is it better? No. It, it is better like, than eating a cupcake. It tastes better. No, 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 oh no, it don't taste better. No. But it's better for, for people who are trying to lose weight. Yeah. So again, I am not advocating drinking diet soda or soda of any kind, but it I'm just putting y'all on because it helps me fight the urge to eat crap. Yo, I always feel weird when I walk in here. Me too. I just can't. You too. <laughs> <laughs> All this stupid bikini shopping got me hungry. Time to pick me a bug protein board. And they keep these joints. Can you say hello first? Matter of fact, okay. So I walk I walk inside the GNC just now. I'm pretty sure you guys overheard. And the manager was so rude in it. Yes, I should not have been recording. But you don't have to be rude. You can say hello and say, you know what, recording is not permitted. And I began to kind of go off and he put like this. It was a big ordeal. The cops were called just now. It was blown so out of proportion because I'm not even a hostile type of person. I respected the man. I put the camera down. And all I told him was, you're a terrible manager because that's not how you treat any person that walk in your store, whether they're recording or not. He called the cops. The cops basically, you know, told me, it's, let's just walk away. The guy is having a bad day, apparently. And uh, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything wrong. Let's just, you know, he, I guess he was just trying to make the peace. And I didn't, I, it, there was always peace. And I would go as low as saying his name and, and, and tell, saying I would never go on a GNC again, but I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna give son a pass. He was having a bad day, and I'm gonna just leave it at that. Why are you singing that? Because that's what I felt like singing to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm home. It's time for me to end the vlog. 
subscribe to the channel yo sh listen do you guys see how much the channel is growing we are right there at a hundred thousand and for those who don't know i'm going to be getting a brick squad tattoo once we hit a hundred thousand i'm excited about that if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed please subscribe now leave this video a big thumbs up i really appreciate you guys as always i'm just trying to share the wellness so get well and get money